scene was intense, and tonight new information about the fake tip that led a bounty hunter to the Phoenix Police Chief's home. Police saying it could have gone south at any moment. It was a rival bounty hunter who actually sent that tip, and now he is facing charges. I can't tell you why Aaron did what he did. Yeah. But only on ABC 15, a bail bondsman is telling us why he felt the cops needed to know who called in that tip. ABC 15's Davida Fergani joining us now live. Davida, you spoke exclusively to the man who recorded a conversation he had with the suspect about this setup. What did you learn? Well, I can tell you that it was that conversation was mentioned in this search warrant that I just got from court records a few minutes ago, and it sp goes into detail about the conversation that Michael Rolden had with the suspect, and he tells me that he had to come forward because it was the right thing to do. More than two weeks since this intense scene unfolded at the Phoenix Police Chief's home, and Michael Rolden is still trying to wrap his head around it. I have no idea why he did what he did. Rolden, mentioned by police in a search warrant, recorded a conversation he had with the suspect, Aaron Bray, right after the incident. And it brought danger to somebody, so we had to do the right thing. In an exclusive interview, Rolden tells me that he talked to Bray before the showdown at the Chief's house. He says Bray called him venting about North Star fugitive recovery and joked about giving him a false tip. Rolden says he didn't think anything of it until he saw it on the news. When I found out what he said in passing actually happened, my jaw hit the floor. And I figured, you know what, if someone's going to believe me, when because I, I have to say something. Now that this actually happened, I have no choice. So that's why he decided to record his second conversation with Bray. Police saying the suspect revealed details about how that tip came in and the number used that were never reported to the public. Rolden says the stunt seen in this video gives everyone in his line of work a bad name. But I can tell you that it was wrong and we didn't like it. He put the whole bail bond industry in a trick bag. Now, I did reach out to Brent Farley. He's the bail bondsman that was the target of this prank, and he tells me he can't comment on the case, but he also says he has no idea who Aaron Bray is or why he would even want to target him. Back to you. It's an interesting development. Navita, thank you.